All right, so here is uh, integration by parts, which is otherwise known as the product rule run backwards. And uh, so let's look at product rule for a second. Okay, so we're gonna say that y equals u times v. And so we're gonna look at this sort of theoretically. And so you can go back and you can watch my videos on product rule. And so we're going to say y equals u times v, and we're going to say that dy dx. I'm just going to I'm going to just going to put it this way. dy is equal to u dv plus v, or plus uh, yeah plus v du. Okay. So there's our product rule right there that if I want to find the derivative of, of a function times a function, I leave this one constant, and then I take its derivative over here, and then I take the derivative of this one, and I leave this one here. Go back and watch my uh, product rule videos for a refresher on that. Okay, now one of the things that I've said uh, many times is that Anything that you do to one side of the equation, you can do to the other side of the equation. So I can take the integral of every single one of the, these. And if I take the integral of every single one of these, I still have an equation. Well, I know what the integral of dy is. It's just going to be y. So I'm going to have y equals, I don't I have no idea what u dv is, and I have no idea what the integral of v du is, but I also know that y is u times v, and so now I'm going to sort of just rewrite it, and I'm going to say that the integral of u dv is equal to u times v minus the integral of v du. And that is my integration by parts formula. So I take my product rule formula and I basically just reverse it. And if I reverse it, I get my integration by parts formula. So let's do a couple of examples. Okay, so first example we're going to do is we're gonna just do x, uh, let's do x sine x. Okay, now I'm a big fan of just sort of filling in the blanks. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make We're gonna make our blanks like this. And then we're gonna fill them in. So we're gonna say that my u is x. So here I've got integral of u dv. So I'm gonna say, well, this is gonna be x, and then dv is gonna be the rest of it. So dv sine x dx. So this is my u, this is my dv. Now I want the derivative of this. The derivative of x is going to be dx. The antiderivative of sine x dx is going to be negative cosine x dx. And then I use my little integration by parts formula. So I'm gonna say that it's u times v. So it's going to be x times, let's put that times outside times v, which is negative cosine x. Oh, sorry, there's no dx there. Dx's only exist on this line, they don't exist up on that line. I could potentially put a plus c there, but I'm not gonna really worry about it. Minus the integral of v which is negative cosine x times du, which in this case is dx. So I've just filled it out, u, 
x, v negative cosine x, minus minus integral integral v minus cosine x minus cosine x du dx. Then I clean this up a little bit so I get negative x cosine x and then I make that a plus plus the integral of cosine x dx because I got a minus there and a minus there and I know what the integral of cosine x is that's just sine x. So I get minus x cosine x plus sine x plus c. And now I add in my plus c and um, I think that you should be able to see, you know, you can sort of work that out on your own why I put the plus c right there. But anyways, there is my answer right there. There is my integration by parts uh, example one. Uh, let's do Let's call that a break and then we'll go and we'll do another video where we do uh, two or three examples.